Good morning, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is ASUS VivoBook X1500E model. The screen is completely gone, so as you can see how bad it is. So today we're going to replace it. First of all, I placed an order online to get the replacement screen by putting the model number from eBay, okay? If you just put the model number, you're going to get it. By the way, this one takes 30 pin connector screen. You're going to see in a minute. So first thing, check the model, place an order, get the right part for it. And today in this video, I'm going to show you the safest way to replace any screen. Okay. Because replacing laptop screen nowadays is, is quite problematic. Why? Because before, by the way, these are the tools I'm going to use it. So flat opening tool, Phillips screwdriver, tweezer and stuff like that. Okay, so let's get to the point. So first of all, we're going to take out the bottom cover by taking all the screws out and pulling the back cover off. By the way, nowadays, all laptops, they have battery internal. It's not like 2010 that you can take out all the batteries from outside. And that's the worst part. Why? Because if you leave the internal battery connected and disconnect the broken screen and reconnect the new one without unplugging the battery, that's going to damage your CPU, GPU, one of them. Okay. It does happen quite a lot. Like your laptop was fine. You replaced it without removing the internal battery and end up with no screen. That's the main issue. Okay. So here is the battery. We're going to take this out. Then we're going to separate two panels. One panel is the keyboard side, another one is the screen side. So we're going to take out all the screws from both hinges, disconnect the Wi-Fi antenna and the display connector. And then we're going to work on the screen panel. That is much more easier to get access to all the screws, edges, corners, everything. Okay. And that screen placed with two metal brackets. Those brackets are really tightened with the screen, so you have to be very careful when you pull this out. Now, let's follow step by step and get your replacement done. You can apply the same procedure for almost any latest laptop, you know, I mean the safety part, and then you can get things done. So let's see end of the video how it goes. And if you do like, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I hope I will see you in the next video. Keep enjoying these videos. Thank you.
Alright, so finally almost everything done. So here are a couple of struggling point. One of them when you pull out the screen front bezel. It is not kind of traditional way to pull with the fingertips and from inside out, you know, I had to use the spudger from outside to in because there are the ankles. And also the struggling part is the actual webcam cable and then Wi-Fi antenna both of them come very next to the bracket so it always goes in and I couldn't place the screen bracket properly okay these are the couple of things was quite struggling and also when you connect and disconnect uh, the screen connector you have to be very careful because there is not any solid physical part that you can hold or grip to reconnect or disconnect it this is a kind of fabric thing so if you pull too much you're gonna damage one of the 30 wires okay and if you damage it finish you have to replace it and it's not easy to find it's not easy to put it back by the way the customer didn't have any screws so I'm trying to put this on especially these two screws for hinges are really important why because you're gonna close and open I mean the lead and it takes a lot of pressure in there okay so now we're going to turn this on and check if this one turns on i'm quite confident so i did not give it a test but it's always good to give it a test but in practically sometimes it's not easy because battery disconnected the cable been taken out you know pretty much uh, that's all okay so guys um take out the back cover disconnect the battery and i would suggest to you if you have planned to replace it if you are not sure, if you don't find through the laptop model number, I mean the replacement screen, then I would suggest you pull out the old screen and check the model number. Model number should be printed back off this screen and you can order in that way, easy to get, okay? So thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, thanks for your time. I hope I will see you in the next video. And please don't forget to leave your comment if you have any question. And if you do like any part of this video, Thumbs up, subscribe. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.